Good morning, Michel. Good morning, Jean-Baptiste. To come back on Cyprus, the European authorities have decided to use a portion of bank deposit to stop the problem. But in Ireland in 2008, it was not the same thing. Absolutely, that was exactly the opposite. The Irish government in 2008 decided to guarantee all deposits. That means, at the end, they had to pay for everything. And today, Irish citizens are still paying for the bill today. Europe wants to give a new message. Yeah, because governments in Europe have no more money to save all the banks. So they have to bring this message. The partners of the banks, meaning shareholders, bondholders and depositors, creditors, will have to pay the bill today. And uh, suddenly everyone discovers that having an account includes a risk. Yes, because if you have an account, you are a creditor to the bank. And that means you have to be very careful. And the banks will have to have a respect for you. But it means we could expect another uh, bank attitude. Yeah, that, that's exactly the, the, the problem. When you have an account and you go to the cashier for your money, uh, the bank must respect you because without your money, the bank cannot work. So that means in order that you make your own judgment on the bank, the bank has to be very transparent on its balance sheet. You have to be able to decide if you leave the money with this bank or change the bank. And if everyone uh, manage its own deposit, a lot of people could go to their bank to take their money and liquidities will uh, dry up. Yeah, the weakest bank will lose the money. But the money will not disappear from the system. The money will go to the best banks. And the best banks will have more money and will be in a position to lend more money. So there will be no big problem for the system. And what is the conclusion for uh, the investors? I think there are two conclusions. In the short term, if the crisis starts again in Italy and Spain, probably depositors will have learned the lessons from Cyprus and they will move some money from weak Italian banks to good, strong German banks. Uh, and then the ECB will have to act and not only to talk, to cool down the problems. And the second lesson for depositors is if you have more than 100,000 euro, you bet in cash, you better have your accounts in different banks to diversify your risk. And in terms of uh, philosophy? Well, the two conclusions again. The first one is uh, we see here that we had a problem with traditional retail banking, nothing related with investment banks. So the discussion and all the discussion related to separate activities between investment banks and retail banking shows here that there is no, it is not a solution. We have to be very careful with all the banks anyway. And the second conclusion is Europe probably is a little bit ahead of the US in solving the question who has to pay the bill, creditors or citizens. Now in Europe, we are moving to this solution. Creditors will have to pay. This is a tough way, but probably it's fair and it's more sane in the future. Thank you very much, Michel. Thank you, Jean-Baptiste.